we are here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we're in business basically for the, the fact that we're, you know, recycling material diversion and sustainability, trying to, you know, accommodate the municipalities here in DFW to uh, um, divert as much material as they can from their landfills and uh, repurpose and uh, reuse those materials, taking them, uh, separating them, repackaging them and taking them to market. We actually just began to collect cartons. In the fall of 2011, we converted our recycling program from a dual stream to a single stream program, and at that time we added new materials, including cartons. Here at Green Star, we know we're constantly looking for new markets and new commodities um, to uh, take to, to market. Uh, recently, we decided to partner with the Carton Council and started accepting uh, aseptic containers. Uh, it's been a, a great partnership for us and our municipalities. We had wanted to do this for a long time to, to be able to provide residents with more opportunities for recycling and also to be able to recover the high quality fiber in cartons. Um, the timing was good, the Carton Council's support and their work with mills across the country to ensure uh, adequate market demand, um, plus the, the fact that Waste Management's Germantown facility was beginning to collect these materials, these cartons already, uh, helped us to go ahead and make that change. The Carbon Council has done a number of things for us, including funding and uh, in, for the new technologies, and also helped with the education uh, with our municipalities, which helps uh, obviously drive the participation. At Green Star, with the addition of these technologies, we have the capability now to capture these cartons, um, which helps add a different commodity to our municipality and their streams, um, expanding their programs. With the help of the Carton Council and their support, we produced a four-color mailer and with a refrigerator magnet, and we mailed that out to all of our households. And that, along with all of our other campaign materials, such as new radio ads, new print ads, um, bilingual truck graphics, um, online targeted banner ads, they all featured the newly accepted items, including the cartons. So basically we're highlighting, highlighting all these materials. Well, you know, the transition was very well received. The public was very happy about the new materials and being able to recycle cartons along with the other things. And, um, you know, in the future, as, as these things begin to show up increasingly on grocery store shelves, and as people get into the habit of recycling these things and learn more about it, we do expect this to make a big impact on our uh, landfill diversion. To help the capture rate of these uh, cartons, um, if the consumer would uh, empty the product uh, from the container and also remove the caps and try not to flatten them before they're put into the stream, uh, they, all, they obviously sort a lot better when they're two and three dimensional. Well, we've made it very easy for residents to recycle cartons. It's just like any other food or beverage container. They need to make sure that it's rinsed out and empty and then they just toss it into the recycling cart with everything else. And now with our single sort program, uh, papers and containers do not do not have to be separated so it's just as easy for them to recycle a carton as, as it is a puff.